after the COVID uh, period, a lot of businesses have suffered. Some have closed. Indeed, some closed never to open again. Uh, therefore, we've been working and cracking our head around what sort of support can we give the SME sector. As a county, we are trying to work on uh, a framework that would uh, help us to have the data on all our traders, organize them within uh, specific sectors, if it's border border, markets, and so on. We are also happy that uh, you are not just thinking of funding, you're also talking of funding with training. Because if you give money and you don't train people, you're also setting them for failure. So it is very important that you train them on business principles, records, uh, um, how to manage their businesses in an ICT environment, and through that way they will grow along with you. Also on the issue of regional trade, um, your bank has a very huge presence within Africa, and I think uh, as we are thinking of opening our airport by next year, one of the areas that we really want to focus on is also Nakuru being in the map for regional trade. So when we get the airport running, if somebody is coming to a country and one of their banks is Tanbik, and the bank is also here, that enhances connectivity and ease of doing business. And we said we are committed to supporting the, um, Nakuru and we will work with yourselves. So I was very excited when we came here and we started this journey and we saw the responsiveness because he did promise us that if you do come, you'll get my full support. And so your words were very true. We did get the support. This is just the beginning of our journey that we are looking at. That's my commitment to you, that we will work hard to make sure those things happen and to fulfill your dream.